Tonight, Kim Jong-un appears to be going to new extremes to keep his secrets under wraps. Let's bring in Brian Todd. He's got more, uh, Brian. This is sort of an odd move for Kim Jong-un. Odd and very mysterious, Wolf. We spoke to a journalist in Seoul, South Korea, whose sources in Pyongyang happened to notice the coverings on these windows, and bravely, those sources started photographing them. We have new information tonight on what Kim Jong-un's regime might be trying to prevent those residents from seeing. Tonight, Kim Jong-un's paranoia and obsessions with secrecy and security appear to be playing out across Pyongyang's most exclusive neighborhoods. Chad O'Carroll, correspondent for the South Korea-based news website NK News, was recently checking a lead on a construction project in the North Korean capital when his sources noticed something strange. Near an important section of Pyongyang, O'Carroll's sources saw many upper floor windows in some luxurious high-rise apartment buildings mysteriously covered. And at great risk, they started to take pictures. These uh, window bars are made of concrete. Uh, they're immovable and they are um, basically either uh, fully opaque or they are on kind of slat, slats that just allow you to look in one way. Look at O'Carroll's comparison for NK News of a tower block in the Changchun apartment complex about a year ago and now. O'Carroll says his sources observed what they believe are hundreds of apartments and hotel rooms with windows covered and in some cases only on upper floors. Windows at the Koryo Hotel, a famous destination for tourists, were replaced with translucent covers so guests can't make out detail of anything outside. And the overarching goal of all of these is, as far as we understand, to prevent people being able to look into what's known as North Korea's Forbidden City. The Forbidden City, analysts say, is a nickname for a section of Pyongyang where important government buildings are located, the headquarters of the Korean Workers' Party, and other offices where Kim and the elites from his inner circle conduct business. The position and height of many of these now-blocked windows, analysts say, seems to be fueling the regime's paranoia. If you were uh, an assassin, you'd probably love to be someplace higher up. If you wanted to try and eavesdrop, if you wanted to observe who was coming in and who was going, if you wanted to try and establish somebody's schedule, these would all be apartments that would give you a great view of who was in which office. But by closing off these windows in what's known as Pyonghattan, Kim's regime is also likely taking away the views of some people who are very powerful. Top North Korean officials who've been given those exclusive apartments. Those elites who analysts say the dictator bribes with luxury goods and cash to keep him in power. When you get to the stage that you're blocking the view of your, your apparently trusted uh, elite uh, families in North Korea, I think it, it's something that is potentially going to breed some discontent. Others say those who've been elevated to power by the supreme leader likely understand this is something they may just have to swallow. This is a regime that maintains its authority through open execution with mortar rounds and anti-aircraft cannon. Um, compared to that, having your you know nice uh, window barricaded is not exactly you know something worth dying for. Analysts say this could also be a sign of another impending crackdown by Kim Jong-un. A stepped-up pace of roundups, arrests, possible executions of those who the dictator suspects of being disloyal. We got no response to our inquiries about the coverings of the high-rise buildings in Pyongyang from South Korean intelligence or from North Korea's mission to the U.N. U.S. intelligence would not comment. Wolf, very interesting indeed. Brian Todd reporting. Thank you.